Welcome back to GT7. This is Sly Red, and today we're going to continue on with our Fast and Furious movie cartoons. Today we're doing Paul Walker's R34. This is the Nurburg Edition one. Pretty damn fast, though. I took this over to Le Mans and down the Mozon Strait, 200 miles an hour, which I was shocked because it's heavy. I brought the weight down, but it's a heavy car, and I had to do all kinds of restrictions on it to get it under 700 pp, but this car is really fast, and it handles really good the tune that I put on it. I had to mess with the tune a lot because it didn't want to turn. Now it turns great. But let's go look at the parts. That's another thing. Oh, my God. The way they do these street cars and parts. Half the racing parts they don't want to give you, so you have to go a step below. But anyway, let's go look at the parts. Uh, we did... Weight reduction stage one through four. Sports hards come with it. I think that comes with all street cars. We did not use sports hard tires. The high lift camshaft, we bought that. The bore up, we bought that. Uh, the power restrictor, we bought that. And the ballast, we bought that. Uh, the racing drive shaft, we bought that. The fully customized computer, we had to buy a stage down because they don't give you the racing one. I bought all the turbos trying to get different tunes. We ended up with the high end or the high RPM turbocharger, so you don't want to waste your money, just buy that one. The The LSD, we had to buy a step down from racing also, I think. I'm not positive on that one. We did the body rigidity. We bought that. Stroke up, engine balance tuning, polished ports, anti-lag. Racing muffler, racing air filter, racing intercooler, racing exhaust manifold, racing brake pads, slotted disc brakes, racing clutch, racing differential, brake balance controller, the racing transmission. I bought all the racing tires. I think I think we bought, yeah, the sports intercooler. I was trying to get the PP down, so I bought that. I was having all kinds of problems. I was trying to get the horsepower up and the PP level down. But I liked what I ended up with. So let's go look at the tune. So, we got the performance points down to 699.16. That's really close to 700 pp. The maximum power, 575 horsepower. Maximum torque, 474, which is really good too. The weight, 
2,873 pounds we got it down to, even though we added weight to it. It was like 3,400. This is a heavy car without the weight reduction on it. We are using racing hard tires, fully customized suspension, so the body height adjustment, the front is 100, the rear is 105, anti-roll bar is 7 in the front, 8 in the rear, dampening racial compression, 32 in the front, 36 in the rear, dampening racial expansion, 42 in the front, 45 in the rear. The natural frequency, 2.45 in the front and 2.50 in the rear. Negative camber angle is 1.5 in the front, 1.3 in the rear. The toe angle is 0, neutral in the front, and 0 0.15 out in the rear. On the differential, you're not going to be able to buy the racing one. You have to get the regular one. I set it at 5, 20, and 10. My aerodynamics, the front is 50, the rear is 300. The ECU, we did cut it down, down to 82. The ballast, we added 102 kilograms. There's no ballast positioning change. There's no restriction on the power. We use a fully customized racing transmission. Top speed is set to 280. I did change all the gears in here, so make sure that your gears match my gears, and I tune from the bottom up always. So final gear, sixth gear, fifth gear, fourth gear, and so on. Make sure yours match mine. I use the high RPM turbocharger. I used anti-lag system on strong. I had the high capacity intercooler, racing air filter, the muffler I put on normal, and the exhaust manifold I put on normal. I had to cut those to get under the 700 pp. Brake system racing, slotted brakes, uh, brake pads racing, Handbrake normal, brake balance normal. The clutch and flywheel are racing. And here are the parts I bought. Here's a look again at the transmission setup. If you need a closer look, pause the video. Same with the suspension. If you need a closer look, pause the video. I think you guys are going to like this one. I got a video for it too, one lap at Le Mans. This thing's fast. It's probably the fastest street car I've tuned so far for 700 pp. It'll blow the doors off of that Supra. And that Supra was fast. But, like I said, after this, I'll show you the video of one lap at Le Mans. If you have any cars you needed tunes on or setups on, and you're having problems, you can ask me questions down below in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching my video. Have a great day, everyone.